Hey guys, Anime Lover here, and I know that most people just cut to the behind the scenes features, but I really wanted you to see who the, be the behind the scenes is coming from. Today I'm going to show you behind the scenes of Bleach, The Return of Nobody. It's a really awesome movie. I hope you guys check it out or get the movie or whatever because it's really good and the animation's amazing and everything is really good. I'm going to show you, show you behind the scenes feature because it shows you really how hard they work at making Bleach the series and the movies. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this feature of Bleach beh behind the scenes of The Return of Nobody, the movie. And also, before I cut to the, the clip, I'm going to make one or two more videos of N Naruto, the behind the scenes movie 2. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. I play Ichigo and Bleach. The Soul Reaper is a person that has the ability to um, send spirits, good or bad, to where they should go. There are two types of ghosts. There are the holes, who are just your regular harmless ghosts who float around, and eventually they go off to the Soul Society. <laughs> My name is Pancha Diaz, and I'm a manga editor here at Viz. The Soul Society is sort of like Earth. It is where everyone who's died, their spirit goes there, but it's sometimes really hard for families to reunite. And so the souls in the Soul Society create different type of family structures. So it's more like friends who get together to take care of each other. Then you have your hollows. And there are holes who are held to Earth through some sort of emotion like anger or pain, and they can't escape. Soul Reapers basically make sure that the soul reaches the other side without the hollows getting to them first. I'm Michelle Ruff and I play Rukia Kuchki. If the hollow reaches the soul in their vulnerable state, then they end up eating the soul. So the Soul Reapers are kind of the protectors, as it were. Ichigo does this gesture called console. Well, it's console time, I suppose. Uh-huh. Oh, what the console? What are you gonna do? No, no, get that sword away from me, no! My name is Miki. I am a TV production manager. So console is a technique that um, Soul Reaper uh, uses to send the soul to the soul society where they're supposed to be. Ichigo can't fight hollows in his human body. He needs to become a spiritual being in order to fight them. But if his spirit just jumps out of his body, he looks dead. Ichigo, what's wrong? There you are. Don't worry about him. So a mod soul is a sort of a replacement soul. It just looks like a little piece of candy. He eats it. It knocks his soul out to go fight. And the replacement one is now in his body. Body. He got a defective soul who has a really strange personality. He's kind of a pervert. Whoa! Super size! He runs around wreaking all kinds of havoc. And when Ichigo's in his own body, they put Khan, that's the name of this particular mod soul, 
and a little stuffed animal. I was just telling Ichigo, my name should be Mott. Don't you agree? It's better than Cole. It's got good action. And it's got comic relief. And underlying all the action adventure, there's kind of like these themes that most people can relate to. Things about family and death and dying. Johnny! No! Don't worry. She'll be all right. The Hollow left without devouring either of your sister's soul. The Western storytelling art form doesn't usually encompass such nuances as what is the soul's journey? What's the in-between that takes place between the world of the living and the afterlife? I'm Wendy Lee. I am the director of the Bleach series and our Bleach film. It just seems that the, the Japanese art form of storytelling is able to access that and get into it in a very deep and entertaining way. And I think that viewers really appreciate that. Viz Media's role is basically to bring the, bring the manga and the anime over here for, a, um, for an English-speaking audience. My name is Jason Bergenfeld. I'm a uh, co-producer and production manager at uh, Viz Media. Welcome to Viz Media, one of the most amazing places on the West Coast. I know you're a Bleach fan, and we're going to go in and check out where Bleach, the anime, comes from. Over here we got cells, over here we have consumer products, and right down here is where all the graphic designers and the manga editors are hard at work. Check it out. Hey, look what I found here. A manga <laughs> editor. So uh, what a manga editor does is we coordinate all of the translation and the artistic touch-up of the titles that we work on. So in this stage of the game, I'm working on uh, what we call lettered pages, and a touch-up artist has taken out all of the Japanese text and sound effects and put English in. But sometimes they miss something, like you'll notice here the background isn't fully uh, filled in here. So I have to check and make sure that I catch all of that stuff and then send them notes using a PDF telling them, you know, make sure that you go in here, touch that up, make it look perfect. And because she does this, you get to read Bleach in English. Yes. The whole look of Bleach, um, you know, the characters like Ichigo and uh, Rukia, they all, they all have a, a very distinctive look. You know, that says a lot about the creative mind of Taito Kubo. The creator of Bleach is Taito Kubo. And he's a Japanese mangaka or manga creator. When Bleach began, it was serialized in a manga magazine in Japan. So that was a couple chapters every month. It got really popular in Japan, so they started an anime, which is the animated cartoon. Just as the manga is adapted, we adapt the anime in a very similar fashion. Damn it! Come on! Is that any way to welcome your own son after he just risked his life to help a spirit find peace? Now we're gonna go upstairs and see how they do the bleach anime. It's gonna be cool. Check it out. And here it is, the world of bleach anime. At this media, we're really excited. Bleach has a, an incredible following. Viz's role is to, is to basically bring the movie over stateside and adapt it for the audiences to basically give the audience the same sort of visceral effect that the Japanese audience uh, gets from watching the movie. <laughs> when Viz Media acquires skills that are completed, they're in Japanese. So what we have to do is then start the process of uh, localizing or reversioning uh, the Japanese content uh, for an American audience. The, the first step in the process of localizing the film is to uh, have a translated script. Uh, so from Japanese we translate into English. Um, that is our direct translation script, as we call it, our DT script. We're here with Mickey. She's the animation production manager and she's working on the Bleach movie right now. Mickey, what are you doing? Right now, I'm checking the Bleach Movie 1 English Adaptation script. And I'm checking all the terms and the storylines are consistent with the Japanese original stories. 
through our studio in Los Angeles, um, we hire one of our top writers um, to adapt the script into, into, into English for recording purposes. So it has to um, basically bring all of the emotion, um, all of the intensity and drama that uh, the original audience experienced in Japan, but for uh, you know our English-speaking audience. Hold on a minute! You don't even know what the hell you're doing! Those things aren't hollow, so just back off, damn it! Get out of my way, you jerk! What? The production team, as well as the manga editor, review the script and just make sure that everything is basically staying true to the program. Shh, they're having a Bleach anime script meeting in there. We're gonna jump in there and surprise them and see what it's really like. Ready? Let's go! There they are, meeting about Bleach. Do you ever have fights and you're like, no, he's not saying that, he's gonna say this. And has that ever happened? Uh, yes, but we, we stop short of fist fights. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Once we review that, the movie's ready to be recorded. I'm Johnny Young Bosch. I play Ichigo in Bleach, and today we're recording the movie. So why don't you join us? Doing voiceover for Bleach is a very specific skill. <laughs> you like that, huh? Do ya? You little bastard! <laughs> you got that stuff in my mouth! Uh, what's that smell? Oh, there's a bunch uh, of dog poop dog down there. We're setting up a joke. Ah, so that's what he's doing. So he's getting the poop in Ichigo's mouth. To be a voice director for anime, I think those of us that have been behind the microphone uh, bring the most skill to the to the job because we understand what the process is for the actors and we can help them along like no yeah tighten it up and keep some of the previous energy at the start okay. there are a few of us in the business who are sort of like swiss army knives we can do the voice acting we can adapt we can direct and i do that but she's she's got it down to a science and has been doing it longer than I have. As a director, you're listening for a lot. You're listening for overall performance, uh, maintaining the spirit of the Japanese. That's critical. <laughs> it was you! Hold on! How'd you change in here? Ah. Oh, good. So nice. Johnny Bosch. I just have to smile every time I think of him. He, he's amazing. <laughs> Johnny is great. When I first met him, he was so shy. <laughs> he's really, he's really sweet. He's okay. very talented. I worked with him on one of his very first ADR sessions and I have seen an amazing amount of growth in him personally and professionally. He always keeps a very tight gauge on what's natural for the character and what isn't. And I know if something isn't working, isn't going by him uh, naturally that we need to change it. We need to make it work for Ichigo and he's that gauge. He brings a very cool, hip, contemporary element to the series. Wow, what are these things? Excellent. I identify with him a little bit because when I was younger, I was a punk kid. I got in a lot of trouble. This role for me is, is a great stress reliever because there's lots of screaming, lots of fighting, lots of hacking. So it's always fun to come in to do that do bitch. No matter what this girl is, it doesn't change the fact that she exists at this moment. She has feelings and emotions and has thoughts and dreams just like you do. But you want to ignore that and lock her away. As far as I'm concerned, you're no different from them. So you might as well forget about it, because I'm not handing her over. This thing is still breathing. What will I do? An ambulance? That won't do any good if he's already dead. Someone better call a hearse. <laughs> Playback. I love voicing Rukia. <laughs> She's a challenge for me. Just because she is such a tough girl. My deepest apologies, sir! Rookie's a really popular character. She kind of works with Ichigo, and the two of them make this really awesome team as Soul Reapers. Michelle Ruff is just such an amazing, talented actress. She brings so much to Rukia, just intuitively. It's very organic and natural, and I can't imagine anybody else playing the part. That hollow was chasing this girl, so it's a good thing we came along when we did. It's just when we could be a little when sharper we, when yeah. we did <laughs> it's a good thing we came along wendy did Hi, <laughs> i'm working the director's name into the script <laughs>
I got to actually be involved in chasing a hollow down today. So that was kind of fun because I'm I haven't actually done that in a long time. <laughs> is also new. She is not in the series. She is just in the movie. If you want to know someone's name, it's best to introduce yourself first. I, I don't know GK. I've never met her. I only hear her voice. So I can kind of play, who are you? GK, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. She just doesn't take much seriously. Mm, nope. Yellow just isn't my color. Oh, look, a Ferris wheel. You know, so, I, I kind of do that, too, in my everyday life. There's no need to stay. Excellent. Hold that and give me one that's even more of a throwaway. Cool. There's no need to stay. I am Troy Baker, and I get the cool opportunity to play that game. I'm going to try Imagine a dimension consisting entirely of a compact mass of flex. Nice. Three right, please. Beautiful. We'll preview 1050. Yeah, I know Troy. He's my mortal enemy. <laughs> you still foolishly believe that you can save the Shininju. Nice. Excellent. Troy Baker is really bringing an amazing kind of life to this character. He is our arch villain and he is powerful and hell bent on vengeance. And boy, Troy is delivering. Ganyu is evil to the core. The thing that I like about him, he's very cool, very suave, uh, very much in control, and pretty much everything that I've done. We are from the clan of darkness, the dark one. <laughs> Step away! Move it, you go! Yeah, Renji comes from, I guess, the other side of the tracks. Renji is kind of the tattooed bad boy. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to show love. That crazy bastard. I'm not about to let him take all the glory again. I'm kind of a happy-go-lucky, happy guy. Everything's wonderful. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a joy addict. I love joy, happy things. <laughs> the animation. <laughs> you look like, like a seal. <laughs> He's giving a shout out. Right, right. <laughs> and he's got some real baggage. <laughs> Urahara, don't you think we should go after Ichigo in case he needs our help? What if you may comes off like it did? But she's not stupid, she's just oblivious, unaware. And, you know, as the series has gone on, you see that she's really powerful and she has all these powers and abilities. Now this not shout on this next one. <laughs> Why am I whispering? <laughs> Even though the blanks are basically empty vessels, they still wander for a time, searching for their lost memory. This is where the problem begins. If the Shininju is placed at the center of the Valley of Screams, the proximity will intensify the blanks desire to seek their memories. This will drive them to rush towards the Shininju, creating a vacuum. So nice. Just a touch quicker. You're very close. Punching the whole thing again. Whole thing, please. Right. Mayuri is a uh, captain of his uh, group, but he has the interesting distinction of loving to look at the scientific side of things. He liked to look in a dissecting way at anyone and everyone. He looks at a person as someone he can experiment on. And he's kind of sick, but he loves it. Oh, no, no. Once the bombs have been released, they are not ever supposed to return. I am able to harmonize my own voice. Instead of just a normal range or something like this, sometimes it's a little bit of something else. And then sometimes you will go all the way. It's very strange. Mm. I have not seen this technique before. I know it's hard to comprehend, but the very thing we've been searching for, this Shinenju, is actually you. 
I'm Liam O'Brien. I play Jushiro Ukitake. Well, Ukitake is sort of a higher muckety-muck, not at the top of the ladder uh, in the Soul Society, but he's higher up. Sorry, but we haven't the time to debate this with you now, Ichigo. Ukitake is far more noble and sonorous and uh, uh, more wise than I am. I'm a bit of a uh, Nimrod. So uh, it's nice to pretend like I have all the answers. That armor belongs to the banished clan, the fallen house of the Ototo. I'll mobilize the forces to attack the Valley of Screens immediately. My name is Karen Strassman, and I play Soifo. I think Bleach has a kind of epic feel to it. Ha! Ha! Go! Get the Shinenju! Seeing the series that you love on a big screen, you know, with the, the music and the drama, and I, I think it's wonderful. I'll mobilize the punishment force to attack the Valley of Screens immediately. Fantastic, that is great. Once the voice recording is done, then the movie is mixed, and then once the mix is done, then the movie's ready to go. <laughs> different in a sense that it's a new story. We're kind of starting from zero. Fans who have been keeping track of the series from the very beginning have some exciting new stuff to watch. This is a departure for the Bleach Gang because the uh, seems the storyline that we have been following up till now in the series has just kind of gone away and this is like a whole different kind of thing which is neat and you can do that in fantasy. I think the fans are really gonna love Bleach movie because it gives you even more time with these characters that you love it's uh, even more excitement, more battles, and it lets you know a little bit more about the Soul Society that you hadn't read about in the manga or seen about in the anime. It takes everything that the show does and it just sort of cranks it up to, you know, if it's at a, if it's at a 9 or a 10, most of the time it cranks up to 11. The animation is pretty kick-ass in the movie, you know, so everything that you like about the show is just kind of amped up. Now. Do you want movement or you just want a single? Okay. Oh, can I just do like that? Something sure. Like that? Awesome. Let's do that. I don't even know what she does. What she do? She's going. <laughs> That's it. Speed's rolling. Camera's rolling. Takes us over here. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that was 